Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J-Rob447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 Buffalo Bulls Dynasty. And we're going up against the Baylor Bears. And this is not going to be a easy game by any means because Baylor, they, they're top three, top five team. And we, we're going to have to play our hardest if we're going to try to upset them. And also in today in sports... Not only did my UNC basketball team lose, but my Ohio Buck, Ohio State Buckeyes lost as well. But it's okay because, you know, we still have a championship. We still were the first ones to ever win the college football playoff. And nobody could take that away from us. Uh, Alabama could talk all the smacks they want because we did beat them. Without a doubt, we did beat them. So that is that. But hopefully we can still get in because there's still a chance that we can, uh, Ohio State can still get in. If they get to the Big Ten Championship and ultimately win out, I mean, it's possible. It definitely is possible. But as we get in, Devin Campbell back there to return. You guys saw him break one loose last game, so he's taking this one out of the end zone. He's feeling a little lucky. He finds a little room on the outside, but he gets to the 30, a 35-yard return. Hey, that's pretty damn good. Pretty good. So we're starting with a strong set right now. Anthony Taylor is your starting running back for the game. Picks up about 4-3 on that one. So second and seven. We're going to ace. We're in that ace uh, backfield. And, ooh, Anthony Taylor gets the first down. So we're doing pretty good so far. Pretty damn good. So I'll say, why not try out our passing game? So a little play action. We're going to find Wiser for about two yards. That's not the reception we want. So... We're going to go P, uh, play action F slide. And you guys see uh, my fullback got tied up. And that's an interception. I thought he caught that. But no, it is an interception. The first interception of the game for Joe Licata. That is not what we want coming out of the gate. Ryan Reed was the one who intercepted it. So, Baylor, they get the ball. And they do get the first down on their first play from scrimmage of the game. Jay Lee gets the first down. So, Seth Russell drops back to pass. Finds his receiver, Jay Lee, again for another first down. And we, this is not, we cannot, we cannot shoot ourselves in the foot. So, Baylor, they find another receiver. That's Davion Hall this time for another first down. We have, we have not been able to stop their passing attack. I mean, our passing defense is by far one of the worst in the NCAA right now. And when I'm building this team up, I'm definitely going to have to build up our passing uh, defense. It is absolutely atrocious. And we're not. And next year, also, I'm just saying this now. Uh, next year, we are going to a 4-3 because this 3-4 does not work at all for us. So, 4-3. That's what we have to go to, okay? So, third and inches. We're going to do a little fullback dive with Jordan Johnson. And Jordan Johnson gets the first down. We definitely needed that. So, now we're going to do a little pass play. Uh, Joe Licata rolls out. Joe Licata sees some space. Joe Licata, he's making some plays out there. Picks up about 16 on that one to get the first down. So second and seven. Joe Licata drops back the pass from under center. Finds his receiver, Willoughby. And Willoughby gets the first down. Okay, so shotgun. Joe Licata drops back the pass. Going to loft this one up. And that almost got intercepted. So, it's 4th and 5. We ultimately kick a field goal. I don't know why I did this. Don't know why. I mean, we almost made that. Well, it if it had a little more power, we could have made that. We definitely could have. So, the Baylor Bears get it. They're in 11. We're, gonna tr we're trying to stop them, and we do stop them. So, that's the only time we actually stop them. So, it's 4th and 11. They couldn't uh, make it. Well, I think they punted the ball. So, we get the ball. Uh, Martinez picks up about three yards on that reception, but he does go down as he is injured. So, Joe Licata drops back to pass again. He's gonna, not going to find his receiver. Almost gets intercepted again. That is not what we want, so we ultimately have to punt the ball again. We're not getting any type of push. And we're, like, we're not doing anything. Like This is not a good game for us. You guys see, we do have a lot of fan support at this game, but forward, forward. We are getting our... Ass is handed to us. You see that right there? That is not what we needed. Shock Linwood. That is a nice name, like Shock Linwood. That might be his nickname, though. No, I highly doubt that that is his real name. So, KD Cannon 
gets the reception. Also, uh, Seth Russell got injured, so now all we have is Jared Stidham. He does have a documentary on Vice Sports. Well, no, it's actually Bleacher Report. So you guys can go and watch that. And Jared Stidham scores on us. Unbelievable. So now a 14-0 game. We, we are, we're not doing anything so far. This is a complete opposite from that Rutgers game. But this is a completely different team. And Marcus McGill gets up ended on that reception right there so we're going with the 518 hook if you guys never heard of it this patented play works again marcus mcgill gets the reception right there uh, if you use that play it's gonna work like 90 percent of the time like i'm not even joking and it's gonna be a big gain don't uh i told you that remember that but we do get intercepted yet again so that is two turnovers and that will end the half. You see right there, that's, um, I forgot his name, but he's big as hell. You know exactly who I'm talking about. He's 6'9". He, was, he used to be a baller. He used to be a baller, man. Used to be a baller. But, yep, 14-0 is the score when we're going into the half. We're not really gaining any ground. We definitely got to do a lot better if we're going to try and make that upset. 56 pass yards is not going to get it done. I mean, we're basically even on the run game, but we, we got to do better on offense. Our defense, our defensive backs cannot handle the passing attack from Baylor at all. At all. So, Jared Stidham drops back the pass. This one almost was a touchdown, but actually it was deflected by Boise Ross, who was our best corner on the team. So, I got to give it up to him. Marcus McGill makes another reception right there. That's exactly what we need. Marcus, keep on doing that, okay? So, Joe Licata drops back the pass. He's going to find his receiver, McGill, again. McGill is having a big day so far. So, we're going to do a little, I think this is a halfback base. And, oh, we got some good blocking up front. If he would have broke one tackle, he could have been in the clear to score a touchdown. So, a 14-yard rush for Anthony Taylor. Uh, Joe Licata drops back the pass. Joe Licata is going to get intercepted one more time. And it looks like he might take this one back, but Anthony Taylor with the game with the um touchdown saving uh hit right there. So Baylor once again gets the ball in great field position. Jared Stidham hands it off to Shock Linwood. Linwood takes this one for about 19 yards, 19, 18 yards. So first down and 10. They can pretty much 15 yards out. And Jared Stidham is going to find his receiver, Davion Hall, for a 13-yard reception. So they're on the one-yard line. We can't do anything about it. They do a little read. We cannot stop them, and they score. Un-fucking-believable. I can't believe it, man. We got to do better than that. So 21-0. Basically, we're getting blown out. So we find Jacob Martinez over the middle for a 19-yard reception. Listen, man, I basically abandoned the run game. If We need to score. All right, we definitely need to score. So I'm throwing it to Anthony Taylor. He doesn't break that tackle, and that's a turnover. Oh, boy, this game is not the game that I wanted. Once again, Baylor gets the ball in great field position, and Jared Stidham, another one of those QB reads, and he picks up about 15 on that one. Jeez, man, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting shitted on. Getting shitted on, okay? So another QB read, another touchdown, 28 to nothing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is not, this is, I knew we were gonna, gonna lose, but I didn't know we was gonna lose like this. So we, our, my plan is to at least score once. At least score once. Put some points on the scoreboard. So we passed to Zazara for the first down. So we're gonna go with a little halfback screen. Okay, let's see if it works. Sometimes the computer gets smart, sometimes they don't. And oh Anthony Taylor gets suplexed. Boy God, this ain't WWE. So Lakala draws back the pass, rolls out, almost gets intercepted by Kev uh I forgot it. I can't even say his name. So we're going with the five one eight hook right now. You know, it's a cheese play, but hey we got a cheese if we got a score. All right, uh, it's not my fault the developers have literally no way to guard this play or never created a way to guard this play. So, it's third and seven. We got to get the first. We got to get the first. We do not get the first. Third and four. I said, you know what? You know what? We dug ourselves into this hole. Man, if we don't make it now, it's over. But we do get the first down with Matt Weiser on the reception. So, we're in territory to score. Jordan Johnson does get into the end zone, and that will be our first score of the game. Took us four quarters to do it, but hey, 
it happened. So that's basically going to end the game. 28 to 7. We were really we shot our own selves in the foot. We always gave them good field position. Who knows what have been the result if we didn't give them that field position, but we'll never find out. Jerston Ham is your player of the game. He did a hell of a job. He was running, he was throwing, he was doing all what it took to win the game and he ultimately did win the game. Our running we did okay. But we got to do better than okay because we have an 89 rated uh, running back. Marcus McGill is your leading receiver right now as he had a 100-yard game, which will be like. But anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.